What is up, YouTube? This is Russell and Amber and Russell. Make sure you guys subscribe to the show. Watch previous videos and stay tuned for guys in the future. So, the 2015 MTV Mu Music Video Awards, BMAs, just released their announcements at 10 o'clock this morning. They did a via um, the beat um, thingy or whatever. They're going to have Miley Cyrus host the war show. And she's the first ever uh, war show to host in the, since for the past like three years. They have no host. So um, Kendrick Lamar um, has the most awards with 13. His awards include Tim and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is the second runner up with nine individual awards all to herself. Um, the war show is going to the war show is going to be Sunday, August 30th <coughs> on MTV at nine o'clock, I believe. My Cyrus is a host again. She was the first host since 2013, I believe. The awards are announced via Apple Music today at 10 o'clock in the morning. And there's only one more award that they're going to announce in the nominations as well, which is going to be the best song of the summer, which will be announced on later today. Now, here's my problem with these awards. There's no best R&B song, music video. There is no best dance or dubstep or whatever you want to house music there's none of that there's no best indie artist i wish they did a best indie artist because a lot of the independent artists are coming on to the vmas and are having the music videos shown on mtv so there's some reason why there should be a, i feel as though they should have a uh, category for them there's a bunch of other awards i feel as though they should do like best dance as they used to do they used to have so many other awards, but video of the year is going to be Beyonce, 7-Eleven, Kendrick Lamar, All Right, which the song just came out, the video just came out two weeks ago, so I was the video already nominated. Anyways, Ed Sheeran, uh, Taylor Swift, and uh, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. I don't get 7-Eleven, I don't get the whole hype around Beyonce, 7-Eleven, I don't think the video's good at all. This is my thing, why is there an artist to watch nomination but not best new artist? I feel as though there's so many artists who don't get, who get overlooked because of the fact they came out the year prior, but there's still a new artist. Bang Bang could have been in there and The Weeknd could have been nominated for best R&B as well. And they could have also had, um, any other Ar Ariana Grande songs in there in this place. Best pop video. See, Beyonce 7 is not a pop song, it's an R&B song. Take her out, play with R&B, put Trey Song, Tinashe, damn near whoever else in there. Um, I feel as though Kendrick Lamar is going to be nominated for, nominated for all these awards, but he's not going to win any of the major categories unless it's with Taylor Swift. What does that mean? Hey, I'd rather win with Taylor Swift than not win at all. So, um, you guys, let me know what you guys think who should win these awards. And here's some awards that I feel as though they should bring back. They should
say with viewers choice award. Um, I feel as though when you have the fan voting, it's gonna give up whoever's the most popular one the award. Um, they had that lyric video for the past couple of years. I wonder if they're gonna bring that back. Um, again, best dance or club club song. Um, best group. But are there enough groups out there for for there to be a best group? I mean, there's so many rock groups and there's so many um, groups. What kind? Of, there's so many female groups out there as well that could still be nominated in this place, in that spot. Um, there's no best rap video. Again, people say there's the same thing, but I feel as though back in the day when they used to have a best rap and best hip-hop video, the rap went to the rappers, hip-hop went to people who were more like common. Jennifer Lopez will be nominated in best hip-hop video. So like the best hip-hop videos used to go to hip-hop inspired songs like Thong Song and um, I'm Real by Jennifer Lopez as I said previously that like, she would be nominated but again the, all the categories got eliminated and changed or whatever like Outkast would have won um, and this is Russell Cameron Russell and you guys think who's gonna win oh and um, whoever comes closest to actual winning as who actually wins that night will win a surprise Surprise will be noticed to you guys in a little bit, so make sure you guys leave a comment on who you guys think will win each category. I want all the categories from top.